Okay, I, I don't know what you're talking about, though. He's clipping those tomato plants to the trailer. The, the, the other ones need to. The one in the front there does too. It's pushing out. Okay. Cherry tomatoes bush out tremendously. What is that one then? Huh? Um, that is a plum, so it's just slightly bigger than a cherry. I can't even understand you with your back turned to me. Yeah, I just needed a clip or two. To, that, that's all they need for right now to secure them, is that. Use that on the one on the other side. Just reach in there and clip them up. And that is how we're growing these on this cattle panel. This zucchini, it was huge. It was looking really good. And then we had some rain and we just clipped off every leaf that had powdery mildew on it. Well, whatever that was, it looked like powdery mildew. And uh, we're gonna let these littler leaves take the big leaves bigger leaves place and then the eggplant you can see how at the bottom those leaves look right there like those leaves look terrible but it's got new growth on the top so we'll let that take the place and then once those leaves get a little bit bigger on uh, that one my big finger on that one right there we'll clip off those bottom leaves and this was um now we have drip irrigation installed in this bed here or in these beds and I bought that drip irrigation system from Amazon it was like what 30 bucks it wasn't that much and it works really good this was the drip irrigation system in these that I bought from eBay last year and it was $15 I thought okay that's a great price Bob hooked it up and, oh, well, I, before that, um, I must mention that this thing, this, uh, I wanted to get my money back because it was supposed to be to me within like 10 days or whatever. I didn't get this until six weeks after it was shipped out and it kept going in a big friggin' loop from like Minnesota to Texas to California to Portland to Seattle, back to Minnesota. And it went in this loop through the U.S. Postal Service. Was it the Postal Service? Yeah, it was. Like, four or five times it went in this loop, this, this drip irrigation system did, before we finally got it here. And it was the most bizarre thing I've ever had to deal with. And then I would not, and that guy's like, well, can you give me a good review? No! Number one, you were five days late in shipping it out. You admitted that in an email. And number two, you gave me nothing but a hard time. So no, I'm not giving you a good review. And he had already reviewed me as a five-star customer. I mean, really, what choice did he have? I paid him at the same time I ordered it. There was nothing wrong on my end. It was all malfunctions on his end. And this is why I refuse to buy anything off of eBay afterwards. Bob has great luck with buying off of eBay. I don't. I, I I used to, but I don't anymore, so I don't buy off of eBay. So I'll just get another one of these systems for 30 bucks, and we can run it down here. 
and there should be enough line that we could probably run up there through the strawberries and the bean bed up there and call it good. But anyway, yeah, Bob put um, some kind of fertilizer on those tomatoes that he got from a friend that has a uh, pot grow. And you just put it on, you put it around the tomato at the base, and then you water it in really good. And oh my God, look at how that garden just exploded. So keep up the good work, Bob. You might hate gardening, but damn, you're good at it. <laughs>